Hey everyone, Kirk here from Lakeshore. Welcome to today's Learning at Home STEM Challenge. Did you know boats have been around for over 10,000 years? There's a lot of different ways you can make a boat. But today, with the help of an adult, we're going to be building and testing our very own paddle boats that use a rubber band to move through water. Imagine you're in a swimming pool and you want to swim to the other side. Do you just lay there, not move your hands and legs, and expect your body to move towards the other side? Probably not. If you want to swim, you have to use your hands and feet to literally pull and push your body through the water. Pushing and pulling like this creates a force called thrust. Now all boats use a form of thrust to move through the water. Boats like this, a rowboat, uses paddles, like, kind of like a swimmer uses hands, to pull itself through the water. A boat like this, a sailboat, uses a sail to catch and hold on to wind that pushes it through the water. And this boat, a jet boat, uses powerful engines to pull water in and send it out the backside so fast that it can move through water faster than most cars. Well today, we're going to be creating a paddle boat that uses a rubber band and a paddle to create thrust. But before we begin, adults, since this activity involves the use of rubber bands and water, please make sure your kids are properly supervised. Here's what they're going to need. Kids are going to need an empty water bottle, two plastic forks, tape, a thin rubber band, and two plastic plates. Kids are also going to need a large tub filled with at least a few inches of water, like a bathtub or a kiddie pool. So please make sure your kids are safe and supervised when doing this activity. Overall, the challenge is pretty easy to make and a lot of fun to play with. But once their initial boat is done, encourage kids to explore a different paddle shape or even create a second boat that they can race against. Exploring different paddles and boat designs will give them first-hand experience in concepts like force and energy. Once your materials are together, let's get started. Before we begin building our boats, let's talk a little bit about force and energy using a rubber band. I love rubber bands. They're so stretchy, ow, a little bit painful. But the cool thing about a rubber band is that the more it stretches, the more energy it has. So, for example, if I was to pull only a little bit on this rubber band, it only created a little bit of energy, not a lot of force. But if I was to pull really far on this rubber band, it has a lot of energy and it'd be a lot of force. Now, rubber bands can create energy in two ways. Pulling a rubber band like this will create force that'll move in this direction. Creating energy by twisting the rubber band will do what? Do you think it'll snap back? Let's watch. Nope, it just spins. For our boats, the energy created from twisting a rubber band will force our paddle to spin through the water, creating thrust to move our boats forward. All right, to create your boat, you're gonna need two forks, water bottle, and your tape. To create the boat, take your water bottle and one of the forks and place it on top so that the prongs are going down. Take a piece of tape and tape it to the water bottle like that. Rotate your bottle and put the other fork on top in the same direction so that they are even with each other. Take another piece of tape and put it on the bottle like this. Now, take your tape and pick a long strip around the top of the fork all the way around the bottle like this. Okay, take your second piece of tape and do the same thing on this side. Now that you've created your boat, let's create our paddles. To create our paddles, you'll need your boat, two plastic plates, a marker, and scissors. Put the plastic plates on top of each other Take your boat and you want to measure this distance between the forks. So take the boat and place it on the plates. Take your pen and mark in between the forks. That's how wide your paddles can be to still fit in your boat. Next, take your scissors and cut the strip of your plastic plate where those two markers are. That and like this, and then cut that out. Now you're gonna to wanna to get rid of this part too, so cut that area off. Now you have 
two sheets of plastic. Put them together and then cut in the center like this, a little bit past halfway, so you have two pieces of plastic with a slit cut in them. Now put them together and you've created an X. Okay. Take your tape and put a piece of tape on each side like this. And then open it here and open it here and then open it again. Okay. If you have any excess tape off to the sides, go ahead and trim that off. All right. Now you should have a nice X that's held together. If you want, you can trim or design your paddle to have a different shape. I'm going to give mine a shape like this. Nice little rounded shape. Okay. I open it back up. All the sides should have that same rounded shape. Now, working with an adult, put a rubber band between the two forks on your boat by looping it over the prongs of the fork. Load your paddle by putting it in between the rubber band so that the rubber bands are on two sides of the X, like this, not like this. Now we're going to give our boat some energy. Holding the boat in one hand, use the other hand to turn the paddle. Notice how the rubber band is twisting as I turn the paddle. I'm building up energy in the rubber band. So once I let go, the paddle is going to spin. Great. Once you've created your boat, have an adult go with you to test it out in water. When you're ready, take your paddle and twist it in the rubber bands a few times and hold it in place. Position the boat in water and then let go. Your boat should hopefully move forward. Now if your boat moves backwards, what do you think happened? A paddle that spins in one direction will push the boat forward, but a paddle that turns in the other direction will pull the boat backwards. How do you think you can change your boat so that it'll go forward the next time? What happens if your paddle got stuck? Look at your paddle and see if it got stuck on a fork or on the bottle or in the rubber band. Consider changing the design, the shape, or the size of it by trimming around the edges until you created a paddle that will spin freely between the forks. Once you've created a successful boat, try exploring different paddle shapes and sizes. See if you can create a paddle that will make your boat go in a circle. Also, think about ways you might be able to make your boat go faster. This is Kirkwood Lakeshore. Until next time, keep on learning. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.